Hey, I am Elizabeth. I'm one of the keepers here at the Greensboro Science Center. And today I'm going to be training our scorpion, Rachel. Rachel is an education animal. And one thing that's very important for our education animals is that they get the choice whether or not they get to participate in their programs. So what I'm doing with him is he is getting trained to go into this lovely cup here so we can safely lift him out and put him in his travel container. Scorpions are venomous, so I cannot just reach in and grab him out. So I'm just getting him used to it being in there. Um, so I'm just gonna see if he's interested in eating today. Sometimes he's not super hungry. He is going to be getting live crickets. So I'm just gonna use these tongs. Hi, Bubbo. You want some snacks? Oh, mad. You want to snack? Good job. All right, so he is interested in food, so he gets one free cricket. He doesn't have to do anything for it. Good boy. So yummy. There we go, perfect. A lot of what I'm doing right now is baiting him. Um, so I'm try trying to get him to move closer for the crickets towards this container because the container is new and so it's gonna be a little scary. So we're gonna pair this with food. We're gonna let him have some snack. And then, well, once he's almost done with that, we'll go on to the next cricket. He is a slow eater, so it does take some patience. Hi, you wanna move a little closer? No, oh, you snuck that from me, you sneaky snake. Good boy, come on. Can you move your feet and not just your arms? He said, but look at these great pinchers. Good job, there you go. You're gonna lose it, you only got the leg. So the first step in training him was actually getting him used to eating off of the tongs because he normally gets fed. We just throw the crickets in and he has to hunt for them, which is really, really good for his natural instincts. So getting him used to eating off the tongs is really, really great. Um, and then since this is a new behavior, I'm just looking for him to take maybe two steps towards the container. And then I would give him what we call a jackpot where he would get the rest of his meal. Um, so that's, you know, if you're training your dog at home, you give him like four treats instead of one when they do something really good. We do the exact same thing here with our animals. When they do a phenomenal job at their training, they get a phenomenal amount of reward.